So one of the easiest way of uh, increasing uh, Pollo Velco ground clearance is by uh, changing the spring to one that uh, will increase the the height of the car from the ground. So uh, it's, you don't necessarily have to change the tires from low profile to high profile or higher profile tires. Or do you know there are other things so people can uh, you know you could do to do that, but the spring is like the one of the cheapest and the safest way of going about it. So um what I mean by spring, I'm talking about uh, chocolate observer springs, you know. So um every uh, Pojo model by model I'm referring to like four six four seven three or seven five four eight and the rest uh they all have um different springs depending on the engine in the vehicle engine models in the vehicle the one with one point eight liter um we now have the same with two point two so likewise the one with two point two liter engine will now have the same spring with uh three point zero especially the front end so um depending on uh the intention of the man manufacturer or pojo while designing the vehicle uh the man intentionally puts a lower spring or a spring that could make the car ground clearance to be much lower than the other like the performance ones the or the ones with the half higher power the does engine with higher power most times you see that they usually have lower ground clearance than the others. Aside that too, generally from uh, observation, Pojo vehicles assembled or produced in Nigeria tend to have higher ground, ground clearance than the one assembled or produced outside Nigeria, especially in Europe and uh, other Western world. So, um, for example, you could also tell the difference between forces assembled in Nigeria and one assembled outside uh, or assembled in Europe. The one assembled in Nigeria uh, have higher ground, ground clearance than the one assembled in Europe, irrespective of engine model. You know, so all this, uh, you, the springs can also actually you can use the spring to alter the ground clearance. So if the one, for example, uh, if you want a Pojo model, you want a specific Pojo model that uh, maybe will not, you have, have one in mind, like you have four or seven in mind, and the, you want uh, one that has a high ground clearance, you may have to consider buying one, uh, was there anyone assembled in Nigeria, but I know some were sold in Nigeria anyway, brand new, so... Maybe those ones might have higher ground clearance, but I know for a fact the one of four six and four, uh, you know three or seven, the ones sold in Nigeria have higher ground clearance than the ones sold in Europe. So you might go for the ones sold in Nigeria if you want your car to be uh, higher from the ground. You know, not to be too close to the ground than the one you get from Europe. Or you could buy from the one in Europe, assemble in Europe, then look for the spring. You don't need to change the shock so all you need to do is look for the spring for the ones assembled in Nigeria and swap it. So that is it. Um, so uh, it, 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 it may, like I said, it makes much sense than changing the tire from lower profile to higher profile to increase the car height. Uh, you know, changing the spring might be a cheap, which to me is a cheaper way of going about it without spending that much. Um, the other ways, other things that can be done on the suspension to increase uh, the ground current, but I just wanted to point out this spring thing because I know most people don't uh, even think about it or know that, you know, they all assume they are the same. They are not the same. So you can actually increase your, the, your car height from the ground by using a different spring. 
even for the same model of the vehicle. So all four OC springs are not the same. Some spring will, will, will shoot your car up, some will bring your car lower. Now it's up to you to now find which one. For example, I'll give you a, um let me which one will I use? Okay, let me use for this for example. The shock absorber spring of a 406 V6 manual is the same shock absorber spring in 406 that you know 406 V6 manual was produced out uh, you know in Europe, um, Asia and the rest. Now was produced in uh, Nigeria, uh, somewhere in Nigeria. You only find uh, 1.8, 2.0 liter uh, Nigerian assembly. You know, the Mazma engine they had, they put uh, assembly in Nigeria was 2.0. So all the ones, this is we are not Nigerian assembly or productions. However, the 406 VCs manual from Europe, the front shock absorber is the same shock absorber, is the same front shock absorber of 406 with EW10J4 manual assembled in Nigeria. You know, so um, you could see the 406 one, uh, you know, the asset, the Nigeria assembled one is much taller, but because of the engine weight, the triple, the, the VCCG weight, the foreign assembly one, when you take that shock absorber, which is identical, it's not like similar, it's the same spring. But when you put it on a VCC, it drops it lower because VCC has, uh, the engine has a lot of weight. So it will drop, the, 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 the spring will come down lower. While on the EW term, it stays up high because the engine doesn't have that much weight. So now you could understand the difference. The first is V6 automatic, the shock absorber is different, not the same. The manual gearbox is lighter than automatic gear, so automatic gearbox is heavier. So because of that, they use a more stronger spring for the four six V6 automatic. So with four six EW10 J4 or 2.0 liter with manual and automatic. The automatic one, the same engine, has a different uh, uh, spring or to that of the manual. Just know that generally manual gearboxes are lighter. They don't have much weight compared to the automatic that has more weight. So let it just be clear, especially for the, uh, what I mean, automatic versus manual. I'm talking about the ones that are meant for, you know, when you compare with the engines, they are, they are meant to be like, Automatic gearbox and manual gearbox attached on EW10J4. That's what I mean. I'm not saying automatic gearbox uh, for VCs uh, will have the same. Uh, uh, the what I'm trying to say that you compare the one of automatic VCs with uh, uh, manual EW10J4. No, or compare the automatic EW10J4. Uh, compared with the manual V6, the, the weight. No, I'm not saying the one made for each engine. So that's what you compare. So the manual is usually lighter. So this just the spring will not be as uh, as strong, not necessarily strong. It won't, it won't be able to come down as low as the that of manual. So I'll be able to carry that extra weight on the front end. The rear end most are usually the same, not necessarily, but you know they don't have much weight over there. But the front one, yeah, they do. Four seven is completely different when you want to talk about this because the V six one, the rear, the front, they are basically different, completely different, completely, you know. Um. So. Um. So I hope this makes sense. So if uh, you might, uh, I don't know the challenge now is how do you go, uh, find the one that will match, the one that can increase the ground clearance. Uh, well, that's a that's a challenge because uh, you can't tell by me looking at it like that. Um, sometimes may have to bring it and keep it side by side. Or uh, may have to count the number. Even even when you count the number of the rings on the shell, you know, on the spring, you, you still even you might see one that has higher number of ring, but when you put it, it will drop lower than the one with uh, 
let's have uh, uh, koi. You know, so that doesn't necessarily mean it's not style the, the one that are thicker are the one that usually pushes the one or but it's still not the same. It's, as it's not a guarantee that when you put it, for example, um there's a four six VCs saloon and sexual wagon. There's a four six VC school. If you take the one of four six uh VC scoop uh spring and put it on four six VC saloon. It's going to drop the car much lower than it should because this the one of the coupe has a lower spring. The spring, the design is, is shorter. Even though they are thick, thicker than the one of uh, uh, four cylinder engines. But it's with the other spring is meant to bring the car much lower because of you know coupe design. They are meant to be to have lower gear car than the saloon and station wagon. Likewise, the 407 V6 coupe and that of Salon. So those are the things. So you can't really say, oh, because it's thicker, it must be the same with the, the less thick one. So it's up to you to find out which one will matter. But it's uh, more like a cheapest way of going about it. So springs are the cheapest. Uh, well, I would say one of the cheapest, if not the only cheapest components, uh, suspension components, especially the used one. Um, if you can get it without the suspension, the shock absorber, unless maybe the shock absorber is bad, then you might have to get it too. But it's one of the cheapest things because it's not something that fails. You may use a car for years, decades, hundreds and th thousands or even a million kilometer mileage, and this, <laughs> the, the whole space will still be intact. You know, so it doesn't necessarily mean, uh, uh, my point is, it's not something you that cost that much because uh, there is less demand, very low demand for them, whether new or used. So I, I don't expect them to be that expensive. So that's the cheapest way of uh, increasing or reducing your car ground clearance or height from the ground uh, rather than changing your tires from lower profile to higher profile, which you also part most, uh, you know, increase it as well. But you spend more when you are changing your tires, especially when you are buying new ones, you know. So that's just, um, like I said, it's the challenge now is now to how to find which spring that will do the work for you. Um, so I hope this video helps.